And I was always trying to get away from the secretary and MILF thing. I'm like, yeah. guys, I've been a stripper for four years. I'm pretty acrobatic. I like video games. Did you, I'm really youthful. Did you find that everybody wanted to cast you yeah. as like a Wall Street, like yeah. executive? Milfy kind yeah. of domineering or yeah. whatever. And I'm like, dude, I'm still 12. Like, I really am 12. Like, yeah. I just like happen to like finance and stuff. Mm-hmm. But like, I'm 12. Yeah. I play like, yeah. I'm a nerd. Um, So I got to like show more of myself on that scene. And then also I, I had weed lube. I never knew this was a thing, but I had just started going to the dispensaries around mm-hmm. the time and buying like weed products that weren't the actual weed because mm-hmm. I was like so curious. So I brought like weed lube that day Yeah, to like, you know, mm-hmm. and, and like, whoa. <laughs> was it good? Yeah. And then Aaliyah Love actually that day, like when I did this, people would always tell me, get sloppier with your It's like, get more spit. And I'm like, I don't know how to drool like i'm not a bulldog yeah like i don't know how these girls some girls are more like they're just like drooly than others yeah Yeah. but i've like always wanted to learn to do it because i wanted to do it like nastier shit yeah and so i remember on that day i'm like Aaliyah, like how do you like deep how do you do this like how do you go that spit like it's so like lube and she's like literally did oh my god so you just take your hand and she starts like fisting her throat you start gagging (laughs) yeah and then it's all like coming up and i was like oh my god my life has changed and like every (laughs) scene from then on i'm just like bulldogging all over the <laughs> like <laughs> it's so funny because i learned that trick from taylor rain back in the wow. day and i remember that because yeah if you kind of like gag yourself it brings up this more uh like flummier kind of yeah it um, sticks more it's almost yeah. like silicone yeah almost, yeah from of the back watery. of your throat so uh-huh. you need to gag yourself in order to get like nasty that real, yeah. damn holly look at you I, i've learned so much from <laughs> man <laughs> it's amazing um and uh yeah i think that was i don't know i'm trying to think of the best scenes i remember like johnny castle and i had good chemistry mm-hmm. those are fun scenes mm-hmm. i did this crazy scene with ziggy star mm. you know who she is oh yeah i've shot her oh my god we did this nasty f-ing lesbian scene it's probably the only lesbian scene i genuinely came in mm-hmm. um because she was a freak and it was She's, a squirty scene for like elegant angel yeah. and they um and i can't say that but <laughs> it was just nice uh it was a chill set i'll just say that it yeah. was like really chill and um we, like i remember we're just like it's soaked in this pool of squirt everywhere and we're like dripping in it which is nasty but what made it cool was like we got so into it and so hard that she's like you have to fist me and i'm like i've never i've never fisted a girl i don't know how to do that i'm like trying to do it like in the scene though so like i'm not like being like how do i fist you yeah to the camera yeah right and like she's like oh you just like go like this and so she puts her hand kind of where you put pinch all your fingers together and like kind of demonstrates like this and i'm like oh so i go like this and this girl's tiny. This girl's like 90 pounds. Yeah, okay? she's really small. You know, small. and I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm fairly petite, but you know, my hand, it's it's not like I'm not that small. She's 90 pounds, right? And I'm like, there's no way I'm going to be able to fist this chick. Yeah. And anyway, so I put it in and she's like, okay, you can like fist it now. And like, I get the whole fist and I'm just like going in and out of this chick, like fisting her. She's like, oh my God, yes. And she's just like, <laughs> everywhere to the point it's getting so raunchy and hard because she's wanting me to be fisting her and like choking her like she wanted wow. me to like 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 rip her up like yeah. i was like oh my god this bitch is crazy and it got so intense like like in a in a f-ed up way that mm-hmm. like uh i forget his name he shoot the dreads who for elegant angel um dreads guy he's awesome but he had to turn the camera off and just wait for it to for her to get her thing off because he's like this isn't what we wanted like we didn't want kink.com like choking fisting hardcore yeah. shit yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah some people a lot of uh companies won't even shoot fisting that's why you turn the camera because off it's considered I like know. it's upset it's probably like the you the, didn't even want the footage of it i yeah. think is what happened but yeah but ziggy liked it that, that's really memorable so that sticks out to me as, a, as long as, as the girl liked it scene. that's all that really matters <laughs> yeah she was telling me i didn't have a choice <laughs> it's a matter <laughs> So what made you decide to leave the industry? Yeah. Um, you know, it was actually, it wasn't like a, like one thing, right? It was mm-hmm. just, I didn't like that. I felt like I was always working uphill. There was no parties. I wanted to be friends. <laughs> Is that why you got out? You're <laughs> no. like, there's no parties. <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no, but like, I wanted to have fun and it stopped being fun really because, mm-hmm. you know, I would try to make friends and that was hard. And then people would have these all these preconceptions and I'd feel like I was always a pariah. Even if I wasn't, like, maybe it was all in my own head. Like, I don't know. But I didn't feel like I was like really a part of it, if that mm-hmm. makes sense. And then on top of that, I totally didn't have the right look for how I look, if that mm-hmm. makes I look better like now, but mm-hmm. like then I just wasn't working. I, I didn't feel authentic to myself. I felt like right. I was trying to be someone I wasn't all the time. Right. And I didn't know how to just change 
that. I, I was trying. I'd go on set and be like, put less makeup on me. Like, no, I don't want to wear a pencil skirt. Like, yeah. I would try, but, you know, there's only so Yeah, much you I don't have do. a lot of control over yeah. your own image and when they you're never working hired for other companies. Me for the, yeah. And so I was just getting tired of that. And it, you know, it's with your head too. Like, I'm a really confident person, but in, I felt like I was like a four. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah yeah <laughs> and uh there was that and then they would just be little things on sets that i would be like oh i guess i can't complain or i can't say something because then i'm a diva like mm-hmm. woo you know like so do you feel like you didn't have a voice <laughs> I'll, I'll, i i totally do but every time i voiced it uh my agent or someone would be like you're being difficult again <laughs> and it sounds more like you're somebody who really wants to be in a position where you have control over the situation because it sounds to me like you mm-hmm. felt kind of powerless and that's not where you want to be. I mean, who does? Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.